Hi Virgo, I hope that you're all doing well. We are here with your reading, what you need to know for October. Keep in mind, this is not going to just happen within one day. We're gonna be covering the whole span of the month. Anything important that you need to know to help you get through it or inspire you through it. Okay, what I'm seeing is Four of Cups, Knight of Wands, and Five of Cups. So what this can mean is that you can feel in the beginning of the month like you you can feel a little bit tired in the beginning of the month. You can feel a little bit less inspired. You can feel less fiery than normal or less concentrated than normal or less excited than you normally are. This can be more of a feeling like you have less energy. And you can also feel too like your mood is a little bit more down than it usually is. Let's actually clarify and see why this is. Why are we starting off with four of cups here? This feels like it's going, something's going on here with your sun energy. What that can mean is that you can feel like your inspiration and your vitality or like the energy that you usually have is a little bit lower than normal. Because the sun is really what pushes us to do things. It's about our, our self-expression, our behavior, whatnot. If you are feeling, you can be feeling less motivated, yes. That's what I'm getting from this. It's interesting though having the Knight of Wands come out right next to it because I wonder if you go back and forth between during the month of October, you can go back and forth between feeling like you don't have energy to then getting bursts of energy to then feeling like you don't have energy anymore to then getting bursts of energy and I feel there's going to be an oscillation between these two energies. It will be like a really low key kind of like leave me alone vibe and then it'll shift to like wanting to go out there and do your thing and it's gonna go back and forth is what I'm seeing. I don't know why the oscillation is happening but I am seeing an oscillation. This does feel like a, it's a little bit of a chain reaction to something that you have going on on the emotional front. Because I am seeing there be efforts that are being made simultaneously there is also this feeling of maybe not liking the way that something is is going or how it's feeling more so because having cups and having wands here this is more so an internal experience that's being had because cups are going to be associated with how you're feeling or not feeling and then having wands there is what motivates you and gets you moving and then having five of cups feels like a sort of looking at this oscillation that's happening and maybe not feeling particularly pleased with that like you could have had this feeling i thought i'd have energy the whole month or i thought that i'd be more excited the whole time or i thought that this would have gone further it can be something like that that's going on that's specifically connected with your expectations Let's also clarify too why we have the Five of Cups here. I'm seeing the Five of Cups looking directly at the Knight of Wands and what this can mean is that if you do something during the month of October that you feel like is more short-sighted, you may then be like, why did I do that? Like it can be an impulsive move that you make. It can be something that you do without thinking it through 
fully and then you're not happy with the results of it or you're not happy that you did that. It feels like something that you would do having a gust of inspiration and then look back and be like, I acted too soon. Strangely enough, that's what I'm seeing this be connected with. But I wonder if this is just your way of dealing with something. I feel like something doesn't go exactly as planned, maybe. The part of you that needs what's unfolding to be anything other than what it is, that's the part of you that you're working with through this. Wait, I will say this too. This Knight of Wands, this doesn't actually have to be your energy. This can technically be somebody else's if it's not yours. And so you can not like the haphazard way that somebody does something and you can be like, why did they do it like that? That can be part of this too. You can feel like there was a correct way to do something and it wasn't done, whether it's you in hindsight thinking that about yourself or you're looking at another person and feeling like, why is that? how they did it and how they showed up and you can just be like it could have been better if this was if this had gone differently cuz i even get this feeling to have 4 of cups connected with knight of wands and then have 5 of cups this feels like something is going on where i'm not feeling like at my regular baseline so something is happening where i'm feeling not my usual i'm not feeling like at peace that usual like grounded serene energy something is happening where we start off in an energy where there's something going on with you and then knight of wands feels like what you may do in response to that without fully being connected and without fully thinking and then this five of cups feels like why did i do that but it's all because of the four of cups and that four of cups can be that you that you weren't like totally fully present There's something going on. It's hard for me to put my finger on it exactly, but if you're not in your absolutely normal state and then you do something that feels almost like it's a little bit out of character, it feels like it's because of what was going on before that and how you were feeling before that. And so then doing something that I think is ultimately like out of character when you're feeling like regular and then looking at it and being like, why did I do that? And it's going to be associated with something that you did. And it looks like without thinking it through fully. You could have also just been trying to make yourself feel better too. Because Four of Cups isn't like the best feeling to be in. So you could have been like, I want to do something that feels exciting. Or I want to do something that makes me happy. Or I want to do something spontaneous. And then for some reason, whatever it is, it's like, I think that it doesn't cultivate the results that you wanted and then you're like why did i do that I, this is a disappointed feeling of i'm trying to make myself feel better and then i do something and then it, i don't feel better and then it's like why did i do that in the first place i'm seeing that happening here this can be a cycle that's coming up to be addressed
having Knight of Cups and having Eight of Swords means that there's a move that you want to make on behalf of your heart, but Eight of Swords can be you're overthinking it and then it's like making it hard for you to do that. Like you, you want to show up in a certain way, you want to show up in a certain light, you want to show up in a full heart space and really follow your heart here. And then Eight of Swords can be this, now I'm thinking about it too much and now I'm questioning. You can even be seeing what's getting to you, like why this is happening and where these feelings are coming from. For some of you, this has to do with a big life event that's taking place. Something happens, but then you learn from it what this is. What I'm seeing is that by the end of the month, there's something that you're going to reflect on your feelings about it. And you're going to realize that there is a move that you need to make on behalf of your heart. And even though you can feel really nervous about this and you can feel anxious about it and you can even feel unsure about it, you end up taking that leap of faith. That's what ends up happening. And I also feel like this comes from a place of not wanting to feel how you've been feeling anymore because this Four of Cups feels like you've been feeling like this. You see this person on, you see how they are? Just like get the vibe from that card. This person that's kind of like this depleted, like shoulders down. It feels sort of like this, this heavy energy, this, like you don't see this person leaping for joy and feeling excited. This is somebody that kind of feels like at the end of a long night, just feeling really depleted, but not in a satisfying way, in more of a like disappointed type of way. Like in more of a disconnected. This even feels kind of pensive, like this is what I have, like this is what I'm stuck with. And when you see all of the cups here are empty, so you can feel like you have stuff going on and the stuff that you have going on it like you feel disconnected from it because it's not resonating with you because it's not compatible with where you are so we start with that card and you this is going to be a sign of conflict for you it's either going to feel like like unhappiness or like a lack of joy and connection or it will feel like a numbness that you'll experience and having five of wands shows this is a feeling that is meant to be used to create change it's a catalyst for change because you don't need to stay feeling like this so then having five of wands it's going to take you putting your energy in so that you can get some type of different result so we start with we start with four of cups but we're ending the entire spread with the fool and you see how it goes from feeling down and feeling this very sullen energy to then you see this leaping for joy going and exploring and you see how it's dark over here and how it transitions to this light energy and there's this sense of freedom here and flexibility and like spreading out this person is all crunched down and that's how the month starts but then by the end there is this this freedom and this liberation and this excitement and this exploration so that's where you end things 
But what it means is that this stuff that you have around you that is feeling empty to you, where you're like, yeah, I have these things around me, but there's nothing to connect with within that. That means that you're going to make a transition out of that. That means that you're going to leave this behind. That means that there's going to be a reflecting on this and a realizing like I'm not connecting with this. And that's where I'm seeing the fool come in. So this means that there's going to be a leap of faith that you end up taking. And you can feel very nervous about it. But at the same time, having Knight of Cups here before it means that when you... When you search within your heart, this is the move and you know that. I get the feeling of wanting something to be more than what it actually is and there being a sense of acceptance within this. And if you don't want to be stuck in this feeling anymore, because I do feel like this is this has been a feeling. It doesn't feel like this is just happening right now. This feels like... You have been feeling in this energy more often than not. And now there's enough feeling of conflict about it that maybe you're motivated to change. And it like lights up this part of you that's like, I want to do something. I want to, I want to connect with something. I want to feel lit up. So that part of you that's looking for this, it looks like there's a door that's opening for that part of you, but you're gonna have to be focused, you're gonna have to be centered to do this, you're gonna have to be willing, a willing participant. Part of the reason why an aspect of this is going to be challenging for you is that we have the Hierophant here. This is the energy of Taurus. When we have the energy of the Hierophant, it can mean that there, in this setting, in this setting, there can be an attachment to things that we become used to them and there can be that connection there can be that sense of familiarity and even though you can feel like something has sort of run its course now at the same time there can be a I thought I was going to be doing this or like this is what I've been doing or I'm really familiar with this and there's going to have to be a breaking out of that like the belief systems that would keep you stuck feeling like this is your only option when you don't want that to be your only option and it's not your only option but what's going to happen is that you're going to have to take a leap of faith in order to not be feeling like this anymore and you don't need to be this is a space that you keep yourself stuck in because of being stubborn because of knowing that the energy is telling you that it's time for change and you being like i don't want to but then you're still feeling the same and you don't want to be feeling like that anymore This door that's opening, this opportunity that you're moving through, it feels like there's something bigger that you're stepping into. Something about values and what you put your important what you put importance on to being part of this as well. What this can also mean is that there's something that you've been keeping yourself sort of chained to here and maybe even perceiving that as you being committed to something but now that you're realizing that it's not in resonance anymore you can feel like you're using that commitment actually as an excuse to just stay comfortable even though you know you're meant to be expanding 
and exploring and that that's necessary. But I, I almost feel this thing where it's like, I put my belief into this and I put my, my faith into this, or I gave this thing authority within my life and feeling, and I feel like it may be in an external way and you can feel like you were let down by that. And now you can be, you can be looking for answers and trying to make sense of it because before you were seeing things one way and now this happened and you can be realizing that it was like a little bit skewed. It wasn't totally aligned. Let's clarify what this is. You're working something out so you can get to the next opportunity. to do with what you're doing in a bigger sense because I'm I'm seeing on one hand there's more of a, a traditional familiar energy but then us ending with the fool feels like there may be some some limitations actually that you're going to be breaking free of from but having five of wands and having eight of swords you can know that there's conflict here that has to be addressed simultaneously eight of swords you can be feeling stuck about it why would you be feeling stuck about it though and it feels like because of having a hard time it really accepting what's been unfolding I'm getting confirmation of this so what this means is that there's a situation and if you're refusing to accept what it actually is here then that will keep you suspended where you're going to be able to remain within the cycle when there are parts of you saying, I don't want to be in this cycle anymore, we need change. But the part of you that's like not admitting to how things have unfolded and what you're seeing like literally in front of you. It's kind of like if, if I don't admit that this thing didn't live up to my expectations, if I'm not admitting that I'm disappointed by this, if I'm not admitting that this is what I thought it was, but now it's this thing instead. And I'm not reconciling those two things and I'm still telling myself that, like I'm not accepting that, I'm not allowing that to sink in. It will keep you in that place of resistance and not really seeing what's really in front of you. And it can keep you more in a place of just through not wanting to admit what's going on. Not having to take action then. So it's basically a, a trick of your shadow that happens where like if you don't admit that something's problematic or something not what you need or what, not what you wanted, if you're not admitting that because there's still a refusal to accept it, then you don't have to do anything, you don't have to change. And then there's this part of you that's like, I don't wanna stay feeling like this anymore. And that change is really necessary here. For some of you, there can be a contract or a commitment that this is connected to or tied to. Four of Cups is that feeling of 
it's like the opposite of being present and it's kind of giving me this like distant Piscean feeling of like not being totally present, shadow Pisces, not being totally present to what's going on. Like this Neptunian type of energy where there's this sort of like, I'm not accepting what's really happening because it's just all too much. But then I'm seeing you need to be present to see that there is an opportunity in front of you. But this five of cups is keeping you from seeing what's in front of you because if you're so focused on the past and, and what hasn't worked out and it should have been like this, but from a place where there's not an acceptance of what has happened, but more of a, it shouldn't have been like that or why, or like, I just can't accept it. Staying within that keeps you focused on the past. And so it doesn't allow you to accept current current doors that are opening for you that can actually give you what you're looking for like if you wanted a pink lollipop and somebody was like i'm gonna give you a pink lollipop and they give you a purple one instead you're just looking at the lollipop like i wanted it to be pink i wanted it to be pink i wanted it to be pink while not accepting that it's a purple one and then moving on so you can actually find the pink one. Meanwhile, I'm seeing an ace of wands be here, which is like, there's actually a pink lollipop if you would just go through that door. But if you're over here, like I wanted a pink one, I wanted a pink one and not accepting that you got the purple one, it's keeping you from present opportunities where you'd actually find the pink one that you're looking for. Because it can be hard to admit that because there can be this feeling of I don't want to accept that I got the purple one in this instance because it can be too painful and I had expectations and this didn't align with my expectations and I don't want that to be. And so that refusal to accept, to admit is keeping you from current opportunities where you actually can get what you're looking for, where that's actually possible and it's literally right in front of you. But if you're so focused on the purple lollipop in front of you, you're not seeing that door that's unlocked that you can just go through and that's where you're gonna find what you're looking for. So it's like this trick that happens where being so focused on the past and what didn't happen rather than what's actually happening. So, and it can allow you to move forward then that's where you get caught up and that's where you stay stuck and that's what's been happening. What I'm seeing though is it feels like you're catching up to realizing this now at this point. And so there's going to be an admitting that you got the purple lollipop and it wasn't the one that you wanted. Or you try to even convince yourself you could be okay with it. Meanwhile, you can't get that pink lollipop off your mind. And now this is the time where you're like, I don't wanna hold on to this cycle with the purple lollipop anymore. I'm accepting that this is a purple lollipop. I'm gonna put it down and then I'm gonna walk through that door because that's where the pink lollipop is and that's what's going to happen. But there can be this part of you that's feeling really anxious about walking through that door to find the pink lollipop. Why is that? Because the last time you had hope, you got the purple one. So now that part of you that's having a hard time sort of transitioning and transmuting the energy, there's a fear that what if I go through that door and it's gonna be the same thing? But it's like you, if you stay there looking at the purple lollipop and you don't put it down and keep walking, it will be assured that you will only ever have that purple lollipop in your hand. The only way that you give yourself any chance of finding the pink lollipop is by walking through that door and trusting that that's where you're being led and that's the direction to go in. So even though you can have your hangups and even though you can be like, what if the same thing happens? You're gonna get through that too. And like, what if the same thing doesn't happen? What if you actually find what you're looking for? So that is like the best metaphorical sense that I can communicate what I'm seeing within the energy. So now it's going to take you being like, okay, I'll, I'm willing to leave the purple lollipop now and I'm gonna go explore and see where I can find the pink lollipop because there's still a pink lollipop out there for me to find. And there is. And so that's what you're gonna end up doing. So, so you go from over here where there's like this, I have the purple lollipop and just feel like that's just what you're stuck with to then realizing that that's not your only option, but you're gonna have to go through the door. You're gonna have to put that one down and go through the door in order to do this. Because it wasn't the one you were looking for. In some ways, there can be a part of you that's like used to the disappointment at times. 
there can be a part of you that's grown accustomed to things that sort of keep you in that space. But it's, it's ultimately your belief systems that keep you in that space. And this can be something that's being looked into. Like that having the purple lollipop, you know that you're not happy with that. But then being like, this is what's familiar to me. And it's the unknown if I walk through that door, even though that's like your only chance of finding what you're actually looking for. There can be that resistance to change, to switching lanes. So that's what I'm, I'm seeing this bring up for you. So this is going to be a thing. You're going to be feeling that in the beginning, but by the end of the month, and I do feel like this is a cycle that's been continued. This feels like a continuation of something that's already been going on for, for some time now. When you get to, it looks like nearing the end of the month, there's going to be this acceptance that this is the only way to find the pink lollipop you're looking for is to go through the door. And as nervous as you may be about it, or as overthinking as you may be about it, you know that that's where your heart is telling you to go. And you find it within you to go that way. And that's what ends up happening. That's what I'm seeing. And there definitely is going to be some type of familiarity. Familiar but insufficient that you're going to leave and you're going to go on search for the pink lollipop. That's what I'm seeing is going to be happening. Because I think you get to a point where you, you get motivated enough to want to find that and know that it's possible. And this is you're giving yourself a chance to do exactly that. For some of you, you may be you may be getting some type of guidance to help you with this. That is a possibility. This would be somebody that you trust to give you good advice. And you would know that it's good advice, even though it can feel like difficult to hear, you can know that it resonates within you. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I am sending everybody love, and I hope to catch you guys next time.